Part 1. White Clouds. Red Wolf Moon. The Flame in the Darkness. Hoarfrost now graces treetops and open fields alike, and an icy chill blown in from the north of Fargus blankets the land. All of Fodland's creatures begin to settle in for a long winter. The setting sun bathes the full winter coat of every wolf in a foreboding scarlet glow. Hunters can now spread the word that the red wolves are back on the prowl. That's what we're dealing with. Is there no chance it's an infectious disease? There are no absolutes in medicine, but the chances are extremely slim. Restless movements, fits of violence, becoming bedridden, or even impossible to wake. With symptoms that varied, there are only a few possibilities. It's either a mixture of poisons or magic, and dark magic at that. You're talking about Ramire Village, aren't you, Manuela? Oh my, if it isn't Gerald. Tell me, what was the first thing you heard? Everything, after you mentioned that it's not likely an infectious disease. My child and I owe the people of Vermeer Village. If something's happening there, we must help them. We scouted the area ourselves. Speak with the Knights, hear what they have to say. I must go. Thank you for your help, Manuela. You know, I'm more than willing to go with you to Vermeer Village. After all, I owe you my life. If you'd like, I bet we could even manage the mission all by ourselves. Just the two of us. <laughs> You're saying no? Well, aren't you just a great big bore? Nice try, but I'll be going to the village as well. Enough nonsense. It's time to move out. <sighs> as you like. Goodbye, Gerald. Goodbye, Professor. I'll be in my office making preparations. What about you? If you have the time, it would be helpful if you could go ahead and talk to the Knights. Hey, what's wrong? If anything feels off, return to the infirmary. No need to just grin and bear it. Got it? could have caused such dizziness. I felt it too. Actually, I felt that way before. You look unwell. It's because of what happened, isn't it? Don't speak of it aloud. You can't change the past. For now, all we can do is use it to our advantage. I know that. I also know that I must steel myself to ascend the Imperial Throne. Those preparations are going well. We... Uh, someone is coming. Professor, I heard about our mission for this month. Something terrible is happening in Ramire Village. That's where you were when fate sent you our way. This feels... preordained. Are the Knights making progress with their investigation? If what is happening there is by design, there must be someone pulling the strings. There is the Death Knight, of course, and the mysterious mages who were implicated with the Western Church. They showed up when Flame was kidnapped as well, and now there is another strange occurrence near the Monastery. It seems an unknown organization hopes to make the Monastery its stage for something. Do you believe that all these incidents are connected, Professor? Oh, I'm surprised to hear you say that, but actually, I agree. It certainly appears that all of the events surrounding the monastery are connected by a single thread. However, I think it's possible that it may just be a result of different motives overlapping. Remember, Professor. If you think of people as simply enemies or allies, it may be impossible to grasp the truth.
do not know why it is so, but being here makes me feel quite unwell. I am so sleepy and a bit... It is a struggle merely to stay conscious. Are you feeling the same? And yet, it feels familiar. As though pulled from a corner of my memory. From a time long ago. I simply cannot fathom it. Need something, Professor? I was just asking Monica here to be less demanding of Lady Edelgard's time. Hey, it's not like I'm bothering her. Sorry for the ruckus, Professor. Please don't worry about it too much. Nothing to worry about here. Ugh, I wish you would worry about it a little more. Hmm, this... This is my first time working with THE Gerald. The legend known across the ages as the Blade Breaker. And I get to see him with my own eyes. That means I have to try my absolute hardest. <sighs> hey there. Uh, sorry, I've, um, I've got a cold. How did you know? The act was perfect. Ahem. Alas, tis no mere illness of the body, but a malign affliction of my soul. So, um, back to bed. That's so. Hey, I know you figure medicine and magical healing are two ways to do the same thing, but it's way deeper than that. Medicine is all about preventing infection and suppressing symptoms with, well, medicine. That's probably obvious. But magical healing is focused on closing up wounds faster, raising a body's vital energy, stuff like that. Hello, Professor. I know that look in your eye. You want to ask me a favor. You want me to help out with your class, right? You just say the word, and I'll help however I can. Don't worry about it. You're just starting out as a teacher, right? It's only natural for those of us with more experience to help the younger generation. Hey, Professor, did you see that my father came by during the Battle of the Eagle and Lion? He left soon after, but I saw him talking to Edelgard first. I wonder what they could have to talk about. I guess that would make sense. He is the Minister of Military Affairs, after all. Still, though, I could have sworn those two didn't get along. I'm going to catch me some mighty fish, just you wait and see. I didn't catch a single fish last month, but this month, oh, this month. <laughs> That's exactly what Captain Gerald said. You're going with the captain to investigate Ramire Village soon, aren't you? It feels like so long ago that you two came here. <laughs> I'm worried about Remire. That affliction is a little too mysterious for my liking. I'm pretty sure it's not normal. Then what could it be? Investigating Ramire Village, be on your guard. Hey! When news reached us of the disturbance, ours was the first unit dispatched to Ramire. 
We had renowned scholars and accomplished magic wielders with us. But in all honesty, I was scared witless the entire time. For all we knew, it was an epidemic like the rumors suggested. And rumors aside, that place had an eerie air about it that chilled you right to the bone. Perhaps. They say that things rarely, if ever, go according to plan. Still, plan we must. After all, if we don't effectively force things to go our way, nothing will be achieved. How about you, Professor? Are you leading the life you envisioned for yourself? That's surprising. But I suppose it's possible you're telling the truth. Professor. Hey, Professor. Can I get your advice on something? I just don't know what to do anymore. I used to think they were the best. But now I can't even stand looking at them. <gasps> Good point, Professor. I think I need to see other meats right now. Then I can come back to fish when I'm good and ready. Okay. <laughs> Congratulations on winning the Battle of the Eagle and Lion. Did you get a special reward? I certainly feel like I earned a special reward. Don't you, Professor? Oh, disappointing. Ah, oh, Professor! The Battle of the Eagle and Lion was such good fun, don't you think? Ignatz, how long are you going to keep harping on about the Battle of the Eagle and Lion? Oh, come on, let me gush! Did you see how the house leaders came together after the battle? What an incredible thing to witness. Harmony, even after something so hard fought. True. If they can keep playing nice, perhaps there will be peace in Fodlin after all. Professor. Hmm. The librarian is always out and about these days. And just when I had some questions about a book I'd borrowed. Ugh, now I'm so curious about where he's gone off to. He better come back soon. <laughs> I am so happy to be part of your class, Professor. I honestly cannot recall the last time I interacted with others on a daily basis like this. It reminds me of when I was a child. <laughs> that was so very long ago now. Oh, I mean, very. Very, very, very long ago. Ugh. What the? Hey! Hey, you! Professor, how are you feeling, Professor? You look rather ill, if you don't mind my saying so. Are you sick? If so, I would urge you not to push yourself too hard. Take some rest. Just my natural talent, nothing out of the ordinary. Enough wit now. You should lie down. Boo. Huh? Ooh. You do not look well. Are you sure you aren't coming down with a cold or some other ailment? Please, visit a doctor before your situation worsens. I suppose the infirmary is also an option? Though when I went there the other day, I was unable to receive medical guidance, as Professor Manuela was drunk and fast asleep on the floor. I could use your help. Okay. Oh, goodness. Is something the matter, Professor? You look a little pale. Please be careful. It's so easy to catch a cold this time of year. Hmm. What is it? I'm in the middle of my daily duties. I assume you know by now that the Four Saints are all important figures in the teachings of Seros. Still, I have a particular fondness for Saint Sethleen. 
I have something to ask of you. Yes, this is a place of mysteriousness. I have awareness of how much difference every part of the world is. In a place alike to this place, you can imagine the goddess of Fodlin truly existing. At times I miss those places in Bridget. At times, I am missing those places so painfully. Huh? Hmm. Hmm. During the Red Wolf Moon, wild monsters make ready for the winter to come, stirring more than at any other time of the year. You are off for Ramire Village, isn't that right? Watch your step on that journey. May the goddess protect all of you. about Remire Village from some of the knights. It's certainly troubling. If it's a contagion, we at Garrick Mock should be on the lookout as well. Your words are oddly persuasive, Professor, even if they're not exactly based on anything. Remire Village is an empire territory, but it's still relatively close to the monastery. Oh, but you know all about that, don't you? The story goes that it was in Ramayar village that Alois found you. Hello. You know, Professor, the tournament fish, and the meal we indulged in after the battle of the eagle and lion? Why, all of the food I've eaten in this monastery has been absolutely delectable. Every last bite of it. <laughs> Food really is the only thing you think about, huh? Uh, hardly. I think about all sorts of things. Oh, like tomorrow's menu, for instance? I have a request. Hey! Hmm. Greetings, Professor. Nothing to report. Oh, Except that Tomas departed the monastery and has yet to return. Consider that reported. He's been gone for periods of time before and has always returned, so I'm not too worried. Still, I wonder what in the world he's doing out there. A moment, please. <laughs> Of the four or five years since I started here, this is certainly the busiest. It was four. I've been here five. Ah, oh, what's a year here or there? Don't be petty now, Shamir. You count your enemies the same way. If I take care of them quickly, what does it matter how many there are? Oh, sorry. We didn't mean to ignore you, Professor. As you were saying, it's been a busy year. There never seemed to be enough hands for the work. That reminds me. Do you have that thing? If you do, we want it. Want? No, we need it. Give it to me, not her. Hey now, I'm the one who brought it up. We may be friends, but that's just rude. Hey you, do me a favor. Of the four or five- ah! If I take- As you were saying- That want? Hey now, I have a favor to ask. Professor. Professor, you seem unwell. How are you faring? If you're not feeling well, I'd strongly recommend some rest. Let me con Professor, tell me, is this about Ramire? There are more villagers acting strangely today than yesterday. Knights have been dispatched, yet... The underlying cause is as yet unclear. And the most anyone can do is stand back and watch. It is most distressing. Professor, what do you think about all this? In that case, we should strengthen the guards. If you visit the village, Professor, please, take care. Professor, what have you got there? That's... Hmm. 
My goodness, that is just what I've been looking for. I can offer nothing more than this, but I do ask that you consider trading with me. I am in your debt, Professor. Professor, I've been watching your class activities, and I wondered if you might desire my help. Just say the word and I'll pitch in. Of course, I have to be truthful. It's all just a ploy to make it easier to research your crest. Feel free to call on me anytime. I'll be happy to lend a hand. And then you can help out with my class, too. <laughs> it's a joke, Professor. I'd never put a burden on you, a first-year teacher. I thought we might make it through last month in peace. But no, another incident just had to arise, didn't it? If only this debacle had to do with crests, why, I'd have gone and dealt with it in an instant. Good day, Professor. Well then, I should go. Meyer Village. Is that not where you met Edelgard? If you had not been there, something terrible could have happened. Did one of the house leaders know that mercenaries were staying in Remeyer Village? I wonder. It will remain a mystery for now. All we can do at this point is speculate. Hey, hey, wait a minute. What you've got there, isn't that... Please, could you let me have that? Here, I'll give you this in return. Fantastic! Thanks, Professor. You have no idea how happy this makes me. Professor! Professor, do you ever wish you could return to your life as a mercenary? I thought you might. Traveling the world, just you and Geralt. How lovely it must have been. It was in Remire that you first met Alois and the rest of his order, was it not? Half a year has come and gone since then. How quickly time passes. It was half a year. I hey, uh. Professor, I picked this up, but... Oh, hey! It worked out perfectly! Want to trade me what you're holding for it? Thanks, Professor! This is great! The knights go out from Garrig Mach to take on all kinds of other duties. I'd sure like a job like that one day. Then again, I don't know. Serving Lady Rhea here is pretty good. Good. Professor, Captain Gerald just told me. Remire Village is in a bad way, right? The situation there is worrying, yes. But tell me, how was your vertigo? Are you not feeling okay? You should get some rest. Hmm. If you must go to the village, make sure you're in good health before we depart. Really? Hey, I wonder how Remire Village is faring. Hopefully we're not dealing with some new epidemic. It wouldn't be unheard of. Almost 20 years ago, a terrible plague blazed through Fargus. It even hit the capital city, taking the queen consort's life. Or so I heard. The whole kingdom was in an uproar over that loss. The person who saved the kingdom wasn't a doctor, but a holy woman, the fair Lady Cornelia. After that, she was awarded the honor of being a mage in the service of the royal family. She sounds like an amazing woman, but 
she must be pretty old by now. But hey, maybe she's aged like a fine wine. Teach, what in the world is happening in Remire Village? I hear even the knights have been dispatched. I hope it's nothing too serious. After all, that's where we first met. I have valued memories of the place. I fear I may become a social recluse soon. My life consists of wearing a groove in the floor between the library and the dining hall. Although I guess a real recluse wouldn't leave their room, eh? That would be me if you weren't my teacher. Locked away in my room, reading, napping, never to be seen. You know, I never see Bernadetta outside of class. I wonder what it is that she does in her room all day. Trading it with me for this? Oh, thank you so much! I'll be sure to take great care of it. Um, um, Professor? It's about that thing you have there. If it's not too much of a bother, would you trade it for this? Thank you so much! I'll treasure it forever. That's a nice thing you have there, Professor. Don't suppose you're planning on using it yourself. Why don't you trade it for this? Sounds good, right? Excellent doing business with you, Professor. <laughs> I've always wanted to say that. Brought it, Professor? Hand it over and I'll make it worth your while. How? You can't even afford your own drinks. Give it here. You won't regret it. Excuse me? I asked first. Why don't we let the Professor decide? Seems the Professor likes you better than me. Thanks! Here's your prize. Maybe I'll let you borrow it later, Shamir. I knew I could count on you. 